Welcome to Wizumi's on this day series. Let's get straight to business and see what happened on the 4th of October in history. In 1582, the Gregorian calendar was introduced by Pope Gregory the 13th. The Julian calendar that was used before the Gregorian one miscalculated the length of the solar year by 11 minutes. Ancient Egyptians are credited for first determining the real length of a solar year. The original goal of the Gregorian calendar was to change the date of Easter, which was traditionally observed on March 21st, but fell further away from the spring equinox with each passing year. The Gregorian calendar shortened the year by 0.0075 days, to stop the drift of the calendar with respect to the tropical year, that is determined by the Earth's revolution around the Sun. The Gregorian calendar spaces leap years to make its average year 365.24 days long. But in 1582 a difference already existed between the proposed Gregorian calendar and the Julian calendar that was used at that time. Do you know how many days were just removed in order to synchronize the old and the new calendar? Let's find out, but before, we'd like to kindly ask you to subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our daily episodes. To overcome the difference that already appeared between the Gregorian calendar and the Julian calendar, the date was advanced 10 days. Therefore, Thursday, October 4, 1582, was followed by Friday, October 15, 1582. Thankfully, the day of the week didn't change. Leap years occur every four years except on centennial years that aren't divisible by 400. For example, there was a leap year in 2000, but not in 1900, 1800, or 1700. The Gregorian calendar differs from the real solar year by 26 seconds per year. Since the Gregorian calendar is not perfect, by the year 4909, the Gregorian calendar will be a full day ahead of the solar year. You may not know that when Sweden swapped the Julian calendar for the Gregorian, they didn't just drop 10 days like other countries. Instead, they placed a February 30th on their calendar. The plan was to omit leap days over the next 40 years, to remove those extra 10 days. England and the colonies in North America switched to the Gregorian calendar on September 2, 1752. So they woke up on September 14. In Alaska, October 6, 1867, was followed by October 18, 1867. The reason was that up until this point, Alaska was a part of Russia, a country that didn't use the Gregorian calendar. Saudi Arabia replaced the lunar-based Hijri calendar with the Gregorian in 2016. Probably you are wondering why do we use seven days a week? This is because the Gregorian calendar followed the lead of ancient Babylon. Since 600 BC, the seven-day week was based on the phases of the moon and the last day was kept for the new moon phase. In 1883, the Orient Express made its first run as a long-distance passenger train service. The original train was simply a normal international railway service, but shortly the name became synonymous with intrigue and luxury travel. The two city names most prominently associated with the Orient Express are Paris and Constantinople, the present day Istanbul. On December 14, 2009, the Orient Express ceased to operate and the route was removed from European railway timetables. In 1957 Sputnik 1 became the first artificial satellite to orbit the Earth. The name Sputnik came from the Russian word for traveling companion. It was 58 centimeters in diameter and looked like a polished metal sphere with four external radio antennas that were used to broadcast radio pulses. Sputnik orbited around the Earth for three weeks before its batteries died. After this, it orbited silently for two more months before it fell back into the atmosphere. The satellite traveled around Earth at a speed of about 29,000 kilometers per hour. This meant that it took it 96 minutes to move on each orbit, completing 1,440 orbits of the Earth. The distance it traveled while operational was of 70 million kilometer. The satellite's unanticipated success triggered the space race, which was a part of the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union. Sputnik was the beginning of a new era in terms of political, military, technological and scientific development. The satellite burned up on January 4, 1958, while re-entering Earth's atmosphere. In 1983, Richard Noel set a new land speed record of 633 miles per hour, or 1,019 kilometers per hour. The test was done at the Black Rock Desert in Nevada using a car called Thrust 2. The next supersonic car created by Noble, Thrust SSE, was driven by Andy Green and broke the record at 763 miles per hour, or Mach 1.02. Richard Noble worked on his new project, Bloodhound SSE, 
which aimed to surpass 1,000 miles per hour in 2019, but the project went into bankruptcy and was sold. In 1997, the second largest cash robbery in U.S. history occurred in North Carolina. The Loomis Fargo Bank was robbed of over $17 million in cash from the Charlotte Agency. An FBI criminal investigation resulted in the arrest and conviction of 24 people involved in the heist. Approximately 88% of the stolen money were recovered. Thank you for watching this episode. If you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to our Wizumi channel. See you tomorrow.